Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to have a look at how to create a dome light in Blender. So, by default, a uh, normal dome light doesn't exist, so I created this basic shape and I attached it to the rotation of the texture. And you have the benefit that you can, you don't have to go into the material editor to adjust it. So if we go over to cycles it also works. It uh, works a little funky with updating. You have to update your viewport to make it work. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is create a circle. We copy the circle and rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis then we make another copy so we flatten the circle trying to get it flat or we can use the keyboard input like this we move it up that's it then of that we make another copy and rotate it 90 degrees on the z-axis and then we merge them together then in case there's any transforms over here what we can do is go to object apply and then rotation this will reset the rotation to zero next up we're going to create an empty and place it anywhere in the scene we can set the empty to the zero location Let's rename them. We're gonna call the main light dome light and the other shape dome light help. Then our collection we call lights. So what we're gonna do is click here and copy as new driver and copy paste it over to our dome light helper and we're going to do this for all our axes then this just to check does it match no it doesn't I must have uh, messed up one of the angles yes I messed up the, the X so let's copy it again Yeah, now it works. Let's reset the rotation. So one of the objects we're going to hide. You can press this to show and hide the objects. We're going to hide the helper. Then we split up our view. We go over to the shader editor and we go to world. Over here we can see our environment texture. It currently doesn't have anything yet. Um, let's rename this to Dome Light. Okay, next thing we're going to do is create a texture coordinate. We pick our Dome Light helper, then we create a mapping, and we drag the object into the vertex. After that, we're going to select an environment texture. For this tutorial, I'm using a HDRI from HDRI Haven. They are free for download.
So I'm going to select the sunflower fields. Then we drag that into the vertex like this. And the, the output of that into the environment. And that's it. Now if we rotate it. I'll close this up. If we rotate it, you see it's going to match the rotation. We can still adjust the brightness over here. And it works in cycles. And as I said earlier, you have to fiddle around with your uh, view to make it work, to make it update. Another thing to mention is to disable it in our render, just to make sure. All right, then we head over to a new scene and what we can do is append. So this will work in any scene that you're working in. So we're going to append our dome light scene, which we saved earlier. If we go over to world and then over to dome light, then we'll have it merge like this. Then to see our environment texture, we go back to world and then we here we have to switch to our dome light scene which we set up earlier. And it rotates. And it rotates. Alright, thanks for watching. If you're interested, you can download the scene files through our Patreon. The link to that you can find in the description. And see you next time.